When Black Ops 2 released in 2012, all eyes were on transit and just how ugly it was. Most people went to play town instead because that just scratched their zombies itch way better, but they neglected the other survival map, Nuketown. Shh. There, there, Nuketown. Daddy won't neglect you. Ooh, here we are. We're on Nuketown. I'm excited. I'm a Nuketown lover, guys. I gotta, I gotta say. You know, actually, the entire reason I have a YouTube channel is just because I want to, I want to get a bunch of subscribers, and then I just want to start unleashing all of my horrible hot takes on you guys. I, uh, I started off the other day with, ooh, perk. Ow. <laughs> Imagine if that killed you and just ended your game. I started off the other day with uh, the Voyage of Despair hot take. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a self-professed Voyage lover. And you know what? I am also a self-professed Nuketown lover. That's right. I will die on the hill that Nuketown is a solid, like, A, B tier map. Maybe, maybe B tier, okay? Because, you know, it's not like the best thing ever, but like, it's got, it's got some merit, you know? I just want to say, like, I'm not going to do it soon. But like whenever I end up doing like, you know, like the, you know, the cliche zombies tier list video, um, I will absolutely be pulling like an insane hot take video. I'll be pulling all sorts of crazy shit, you know, <laughs> you'll have like, you'll have like, like an attack of the radioactive thing above like origins. It'll be, it'll be insane. <laughs> Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Ah, I got an L set. Do leave a comment below and tell me, do you like Nuketown? Do you not like Nuketown? I'm guessing you don't because it seems like most people just don't. But hey, I could be proven wrong. I'm surprised by the amount of people on the Voyage video that said, yeah, they liked Voyage. I've never met a single soul other than me before that likes Voyage of Despair, so. Maybe you guys like Nuketown too. Maybe we could we could create an army of people with just insane hot takes on this channel. You know, you are only allowed to subscribe to this channel if you think that the Frozen Dawn is like a top five zombie map. We get here double tap? Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, most people do just hate Nuketown. The biggest, most obvious reason is, you know, the random perks. I love how the, the perk jingle just randomly starts playing while I'm standing next to it. They don't do that anymore. The perk jingles only play like when you buy the perk now. But like you're here, you just you just stand next to it. It just goes on its own. It's pretty cool. But yeah, people people complain a lot about the random perk system. I don't think it's that bad. I actually think it's pretty cool because it kind of you know it adds that little 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 bit of randomness to to your game. And they do ensure like on solo quick revive spawns and on round one instantly, so you're guaranteed to have quick revive. And also it means you'll end up getting all your perks by about like round 17 to 20 instead of like 22 to 25. And I guess if you want like a predictable experience, maybe sure. But like me personally, I dig that. I think that's cool. I think it's cool that I'm going to have to maybe possibly survive till 25 with no jug. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll get it like instantly. M8A1. The M8A1 was pretty, pretty mid in Black Ops 2, to be honest. It wasn't that great. But the, uh, the revamp in Black Ops 3, the M8A7 was like insane. Super good gun. Whoa, 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 okay, calm down. See, like that right there, like that only happens on Nuketown. Well, it happens on every map, but it happens the most on Nuketown because Nuketown is the map where you're probably going to go the longest without having Jug. And, oh, RPD, wow. And stuff like that is just, it makes the game more interesting to me. It kind of seems like it just depends on what kind of player you are. Some people really like that predictable experience. They want to do the same thing over and over. Some people are more into like that dynamic experience, which is kind of maybe more like this. There's another perk dropping right now. I mean, see, like, it's gonna be round eight. I just got two max ammo in a row. <laughs> Oh, hey there. You almost got me killed, Speed Cola. Thank you. Like, look at that. It's round eight. I've already got three perks. So, like, it's really not that bad. I think people, if you, I don't know, if you complain about it, like, I'll probably just say, you know, skill issue. Okay. Well, um, I forgot I didn't have Chug, but really, you know, it's okay because I don't have anything else to buy, right? Like, what am I gonna buy? I'm gonna buy, like, the perks and, like, Galva Knuckles. 
But like, look at that. Like, I already got them all back. Uh, besides perks, I've heard a few people mention things that, like, they felt like a nuke town was, like, forced into the story, kind of. Which I definitely thought was kind of interesting. I don't, I never really felt like nuke town was all that forced, to, to be honest. And obviously, they did eventually, you know, force it into a, a whole thing later on, you know, with Alpha Omega. But that Alpha Omega is a completely different beast than, uh, than nuke town. <laughs> Also, you gotta remember, I mean, this was a, this was a $6 survival map on the, on the Xbox and PlayStation store, right? This isn't like, this wasn't like, you know, DLC 1, like this wasn't one of the four core, like, bonus maps. One last thing I can think of that a lot of people don't like probably is the, uh, the layout is kind of like three player centric. But what I mean is like, there's enough room for three players and then a fourth player kind of just has to figure out what they're doing. Ooh, a hammer. So like one player can train in the greenhouse, one can train in the uh, the middle. I'm gonna die. I didn't die. I got insta kill. You know, one player can train in the greenhouse, one can train in the middle, one can train in the yellow house, and you can do that fairly comfortably on this map, right? If you if you do that, nobody's train intersects with each other. Everybody's kind of just like doing their own thing. It works great. Now you throw in the fourth player, and then uh, yeah, there's just some guy walking around running everybody's train. <laughs> So those are some of the things that, uh, you know, everybody hates about this map, but like we talk about the things that I like about the map. First of all, um, I mean, it's just less ugly than transit. Like, yeah, obviously it's got the same aesthetic, you know, like it's all blown up and stuff, but it's not covered in fog and it's got like, just, I don't, it's got this nicer, more interesting, ooh, max ammo, like a nicer, a much more interesting color palette. I am in a bad spot right here. Okay. Oh, this is not, this is not an, ooh, I need that. Thank you. The way I would describe Nuketown is kind of like, it's like a, it's like a healthy challenge, I think. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's Pack-a-Punch, it's not a Jug, okay. So we will not be getting Jug till like 17 to 19, which means this match is gonna be a little bit difficult. You know what? I'm okay with that because, um, I was about to say I'm comfortable in my zombie skill and then I almost just died. <laughs> Well, we have an LSAT. We gotta pack a bunch of the LSAT. Classic packed LSAT with a target finder. No idea why they put a target finder on a gun and zombies. It's really just a detriment if, you know, like anything. Great gun, absolutely. One of the best, one of the best guns ever in like zombies, really, honestly. Oh no, oh fuck. I have two LMGs and no stamina, but I really, uh, movement, not. You see that there? That's just that's just Nuketown. Sometimes you will just you will just die. The reason I like Nuketown is probably because things like that happen. You know, like yeah, sometimes I just died on round 15 completely unintentionally. That really doesn't happen on other maps, and it gets kind of annoying. I don't know about you guys, but for me, like it, it gets kind of annoying when I'm playing zombie and I just I just don't die. There's a thing you used to be able to do. You could like, oh, I did it first try. Are you serious? You could stand on top of the mannequins. <laughs> I would kill to have that back in uh, modern zombies. Like, yeah, dude, make me die. Make me actually die instead of just quitting out of boredom or exfilling, you know? One of the other things I also always really liked about Nuketown was the moon tie-in. I always thought it was so cool. I think you get to like, what is it? I think you get to round 25. And then the uh, the zombie's eyes turn blue. And then Richtofen takes over as the announcer. Like, like having an announcer change mid-game, I always thought was super cool. I don't think they've ever done that since. I also always thought this was really cool. Like, if you look out the window, you can see like the giant massive nuke crater. Because like, remember, this isn't even from like uh, Richtofen's grand scheme blowing up the moon. This is just like this is before you know the earth was blown up i also always thought it was super cool the different zombie types so first you get these um hazmat suit guys then you also get there's um these guys these guys are like spetsnaz soldiers they're russians and then you get these guys over here and they're black ops soldiers from the 60s and i always thought that was super cool because uh the zombie skins in this map are the the character skins from multiplayer in the black ops 1 version of nuketown i always thought that was super cool kind of just like a weird tie-in a ray gun Maybe I won't die this time. Oh, I didn't even notice. Pack-a-punch spawned in. We got pack-a-punch on, like, round four. See, like, there's that. See, that's so interesting. Like, you can get pack-a-punch on round four. Oh, another perk. And there you go. Look at that. We got Juggernaut on round six this time. I didn't see it all game last time. And now I got it, like, first thing. I don't know. I just, I just really like that dynamic. I think it makes 
for such such a more interesting survival map than town because town is just like way too basic generic simplistic nuke town is super super simple too obviously it's really doesn't have anything crazy going for it but that just that, that little random perk element just really it really adds something to it for me Probably one of the other reasons I like it so much is that I have a lot of fond memories of Nooptown. Specifically when I was a little kid, definitely far too young to be playing this game. <laughs> Back when Black Ops was like still the newest COD, you know? Me and my brother would play tons of like combat training together and stuff with bots. And uh, you know, we'd always play Nooptown usually. Which is kind of weird to think about because you think about it like now we know, oh yeah, Nooptown has been made 800 times and it's like one of the most popular COD maps ever. I mean, back then it wasn't, it was only in one game it had never been remade yet plus back in the day i don't know if you guys were in like the the online community at the time of black ops you, you might remember there was really popular youtube videos where people would like they would like mod in like a like a ray gun on a uh, nuketown and then they would pretend like they were playing you know zombies on nuketown or something in black ops one so you know my little my little mushy child brain was like oh yeah i want to play zombies on nuketown so then like when i finally got the ability to actually play zombies on nuketown town i mean i was pretty ecstatic understandably right so i guess just from that perspective i do did i make a crawler with a pack a punch ray gun on round 10 i'm not even gonna question that but yeah from that standpoint i mean that's probably why i like nuketown so much it's kind of just like nostalgia for me what are we getting speed cola i'll take it one of the cool things Nuketown did too is inside this bus in the middle, they had a hidden wall by. If you knife this box, there's just Galva Knuckles in here. And like normally you can't see those, so I just always thought that was kind of like if you know, you know kind of situation. Watch this. Pop. I believe there was a really old uh, The Smith Plays video where he, he said that Nuketown is like combat training, but for zombies. And that video, that video is probably like, God, it's got to be... 10 years old by now maybe even 11 and that just really always stuck with me and it's like yeah it, no it really is that makes sense like if you wanted to get better at zombies like you should probably play nuketown because you have to kind of like adapt to the fact that hey you might not have jug until like round 20. <laughs> obviously it doesn't really matter anymore i guess just because you know you can take like five hits off spawn now in cold war and vanguard but, uh, you know, back back in the two-hit system, you know, back in the old days, I sound like a grandpa. You know, back in my day, we could only take two hits. What the hell? Please tell me someone else just saw that. Some zombie just flung in front of my face. No, no, no. Oh, thank God. They used to do this thing back at the old games where they would uh, they would stun you when they hit you. So if you get hit by a zombie, it stops you from sprinting, and it gives you just like this little little tiny stun lock. And that stun lock that stun lock will pull you into a horde, and then will get you killed. Let's grab uh, let's grab Galva Knuckles. Why not? Oh, you could buy Semtexes. I remember that. There's no floppers, so that's not a good idea. You know, I just got a teddy bear in this box, and it made me think: Does does Vanguard zombies have a teddy bear? Oh, 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 that was close. I should not have gone for that fire sale. But actually, though, like, it made me think. I mean, does Vanguard have, have a, a, a fire? No. Oh, man, I am, I am just struggling a little bit here. <laughs> My headphones keep randomly turning off for some reason, and uh, it's really making it difficult to hear zombies. Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely killed, I legitimately don't know if Vanguard has a teddy bear. I've never gotten one. I would think it would, but I've just like, I can't picture it in my head. Maybe, maybe it's just Mr. Peaks. I don't know. Yes, I know the, the name of the stupid blue bunny from Cold War. Go <laughs> ahead here. Let's get the, uh, the M27 pack a bunch. The Mystifier. This is one of the exclusive uh, guns to this map. I was always a pretty pretty big M27 fan. This was my favorite Black Ops 2 gun, usually. I do wish it was in uh, it was in more maps. Yay! Took me 22 rounds to get monkeys. Okay, so there we go. We just hit 25, which means the moon easter egg should be happening right now. So, if that's right... Yep, there we go. We got blue zombies now. I don't know. I, I always thought that was pretty cool. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 oh. All right, I'm just gonna blow myself up now because I'm done playing. 